Today we're here with the Wacom Cintiq 27-inch QHD. Now as a photographer, both resolution and color accuracy are important to me. This display has a 2.5K resolution screen, it is 97% accurate for Adobe 1998 and 99% accurate for sRGB. Now for your color management needs, Wacom has partnered with X-Rite to create the Wacom Color Manager. This extra accessory allows you to produce the most accurate results for color calibration. Let me show you how easy this truly is. Now the first thing we need to do is open up the Wacom Profiler software. Now from here, you need to make sure that the Wacom Calibrator is plugged into one of the five different USB 3 ports that are on this display. And once you're ready, go ahead and click Display Profiling. Now as far as the white balance, I've selected D65 and 120CD. This is because most often, I am working in a very controlled environment in terms of light and contrast. And once we're ready, let's go ahead and select Next. Now one of the beautiful things about Wacom and X-Rite partnering together is the fact that both devices communicate so well together. This gives you the option to leave everything selected on automatic when it comes to choosing the RGB contrast and brightness selections. Once we're ready, let's go ahead and start the measurement. Now it's at this stage that we want to go ahead and put on the color calibrator itself. You can follow the online display prompts in order to make sure that you're doing it correctly, but it's a pretty easy process. When you're ready, let's go ahead and select Next and begin the process itself. Now this process is going to take a couple minutes. Essentially what you're going to see is a variety of different colors flashing across your screen. What it's doing is the different color swatches are comparing itself to what it has on the software to what it's showing on the screen itself. Now that your screen's done calibrating, we're going to go ahead and take off the Wacom calibrator, put it on the side table. When we're ready, let's go ahead and select Next and continue. Now that we've finished calibrating our screen, it's important to save our color profile. Now what I do is I make sure I put the date inside the profile name itself. This allows me to come back and compare it to future calibrations as well as past calibrations down the line. Now generally you're going to want to calibrate your display once every couple weeks. This allows you to maintain the most color accuracy throughout your color workflow. Now if you want to compare your targeted results with what you actually achieved, you can go ahead and select one of the graphs that allow you to see the difference between the two. This allows you to maintain the most color accuracy when it comes to the white point contrast and contrast settings that you've chosen. Now if you want a visual representation of the calibration from before and after, you have that ability as well. Up here in the top right hand corner you have a before checked and after checked, allowing you to see the difference between the two different profiles. This is important to make sure that the calibration was accurate and to show the right tones of the different colors that you're trying to get. Now once you're ready, let's go ahead and select Create and Save Profile. And it's really that easy. After just five minutes, you can have your screen color calibrated to have the most accurate colors throughout your workflow process. Now the cool thing about the Wacom Calibrator is that you can use it on multiple different devices, including the Wacom Cintiq Companion 2. Now I hope you got something out of today's video. Now let's get back in the field and have some fun.